Okay, I'm around again, your favorite doctor, your favorite guy, Dr. Adebayo, and I want to talk about something you will not believe is happening. Do you know there's something called phone anxiety disorder? Anxiety that is linked to phone, to phone calls. Yes, yeah, so, in fact, they said in the US, up to 16 million people have that anxiety problem. I'll tell you more about it. You able people, if I want to abuse you now as a doctor, I'll call it, you know what they call it? They call it telephonophobia. Telephone for their just fear of telephone. Now, those people are not afraid of their phones, they are afraid of the call. So, they don't want phone calls. Immediately, the phone rings, there's panic, there's fear, there's pressure. They prefer messages. You may be one of you, they are like that, you know. They prefer messages, chats, they don't want to. And most of the time, they find out that sometimes some of us don't want to be disturbed. And most of the time, you know, with calls, you can just text me. I tell my guys to do that a lot. However, when it's now causing distress, I yeah, don't have to stress, so I believe in Jesus' name. When you're not causing distress, that's what is called telephonophobia. And what happens is that the phone rings, they begin to panic. And the dis discovery is that most of people that have telephonophobia are people that have natural psychological issues. There is a, an aspect of social anxiety disorder. Most of them have issues with their self confidence, with their self esteem, with their inferiority complex, security issues, and all that. So they are afraid that it is their cause. But now, what am I going to say? Won't I stutter? And what will they be perceiving? Won't the person be judgmental? So they have those kind of concerns about receiving a phone call. This is real, you will not believe. Okay, so what is the solution? The solution number one is that we will do what we call flooding. The solution is that the person will first be giving phone and must receive that call, receive the call, receive the call, start getting used to it. You know, is what they, they call it flooding in psychiatry. Let me tell you what it means. You know, like some people are afraid of snake. Mm -hmm. So what they will do, if you want them to be to remove the phobia of snake, you lock them in the room and put a lot of toy snakes inside. You know, so that the person will just shout and die. Someone is afraid of heights. Take the person to top floor in Cocoa House. So that the person will be able to manage itself. That's what they do. So expose the person. Let the person build their confidence. Let the person talk to people for therapy. Let the person understand that there's no big deal about it. The person has to take care of themselves. Understand that there's a problem that may require occasionally to need drugs. And in this drugs is a big problem. Because we're here to give you drugs. But don't worry. Just take care of yourself. Don't have any anxiety. You'll be fine. See you next time. Don't have telephonophobia. Bye-bye.